Greetings and welcome to another musical adventure in time travel. And today I'm going to explore the possibility that some of the amazingly ancient sounding scales that you can still hear today in Jewish klezmer music, that's the instrumental music usually played back in the days of the shtetls of old Eastern Europe, did this, the scales in this particular amazingly evocative music have its origin way back in the biblical lyre, the, the, the kinor and the nevel played by the Levites, my very own Levite ancestors in the Temple of Jerusalem. And this is a question that intrigued me and um, one of my first recording projects, um, King David's Lyre, Echoes of Ancient Israel, and a bit later, Lyre of the Levites, Jewish music for biblical kinor. I actually adapted tunes I knew from my previous experience of playing klezmer fiddle onto uh, modern evocations of the biblical kinor, the ten string lyre of the Levites. And the fascinating thing is, this, these very ancient scales fit the ten strings of the, the biblical kinor so perfectly, it got me thinking, did they have their origin on this amazing lyre? Um, just to, to um, explain what I'm talking about, um, one of the scales, for example, the, um, if I can pronounce it in klezmer, the Misharabash or something, can be heard um, in a traditional tune called Odessa Borga, um, which goes something like this. And um, this is a very curious scale, it's got this kind of augmented fourth in it. Why would there be an augmented fourth there? It's a fascinating thing. Um, and the other scale, very common in Jewish music, is the Aharaba mode, um, which goes something like this. Um, hmm. scales, although they sound different, when you play them on a ten-string lyre, they are related, and you only realise this when you actually play it. Now what did the lyre of the Levites look like? This is a mystery. Um, about the nearest you can possibly get is probably this thing. Um, this is a Canaanite style of lyre, and the, the Canaanite lyre was introduced to ancient Egypt during the reign of the Hyksos around 600, 1600 BC. Um, so the, the Hyksos were actually Canaanites, and of course Canaan eventually became the land of Israel. But these type of lyres, these asymmetrical lyres, were played throughout the land of what was to become Israel for centuries. So presumably King David was playing maybe something a little bit like this. But these two scales, um, when you play them on this instrument, are related. Here is the Aharaba mode. <laughs> Here is the Misharabash mode. So when you tune to one, you've got both of the things, and it's fascinating. So I'm going to do a, um, a demonstration of a tune. Um, it's a traditional klezmer tune which features on my album um, Lyre of the Levites, Biblical, um, sorry, Lyre of the Levites, Jewish Music for Biblical Kinor. Um, and this particular melody I adapted, on the actual album, I call it Solomon's Temple because it evokes the sound of the Levites playing in Solomon's Temple. But the actual melody itself is a klezmer tune, but it actually alternates a bit between both these modes. And the fascinating thing is it fits the ten strings of the, the biblical lyre, the modern evocation of the biblical lyre, perfectly. Fascinating stuff. Enough waffle, let's listen to the tune and make up your own minds. Thank <laughs> you. 